Hey, what is up everybody? I am Undying Blaze and welcome back to Kerbal. This is my 10th video. Finally, I'm making it onto my 10th video. Oh my goodness. I have recorded the 9th video 6 or 7 times. About. It's one more maybe. But I it, I was infuriated and then I found out that my wife had not updated her graphics card. Uh, so it just needed to download a driver. I don't blame her for it. She did not know. However, I fixed it, so hopefully I won't have this problem anymore where Kerbal keeps crashing. Well, not Kerbal, but the video capture crap capture crashes specifically while I'm recording Kerbal. So, now that that's out of the way, I can actually work on providing some quality entertainment. Goodness, is it hard to provide quality entertainment in this town or what? Okay, anyway, now that I'm done with that. I will go and get into this space center and maybe actually build something or make my ship a little bit better. I think that I'm going to modify it, if not completely revamp it, just because it can't break the atmosphere. Like, it'll get out, but it just won't It won't uh, get into an orbit, so it won't really escape the atmosphere. Um, I'm going to look through my stuff really quick. I did not have a plan for this episode, like... I was focused so much on just surviving the ninth episode today. I, I recorded it three or so times, and it ended up still needing to be in two takes because in the middle I found out that I needed to update the driver. And so I don't have a plan for this episode, so I'm going to go through this just in the same way that you are, kind of just except that I'm supposed to be the one deciding what goes on. But sh you don't you don't need to th dwell upon that. I will just build a rocket, and I'll build a really good one that'll survive a lot of things. By the way, I know that you probably saw it in the last episode, but Jebediah's back. And so is uh, Bob, I think I killed. I don't remember. I, I don't know the difference between Bill and Bob, and it makes me feel really stupid. But they're back. Wait, I could just... No, I can't. Um, so, all that said, uh, and Grassa, or however you pronounce that, uh, they're all back. So, I, I felt really bad about being a Kerbal Killer, but for some reason, like, I it said auto-hire new, or auto-hire Kerbals, but I thought that that meant, like, so that when you, like, kill off your Kerbals and you need more for a, a mission, you don't have to go into the complex and recruit them, and I still think that that's probably what it is, and it might just be a glitch that gave me those valuable people back, K people, Kerbals, it's... They're, they're people to me, okay? Don't judge me. Don't don't even bother, because I'm not worth judging in that way. It's not really an option. Okay, and so I've decided now, just now, uh, you witnessed the decision. Like, this is my deciding phase. So I am going to figure out how to get bigger engines. Like, what science and such needs to be done. Okay, so it's this one. It'll cost 90 after I get 45, so that's going to be expensive. However, that will get me out into space, which is what I need really, really badly right now. So I will do some science. Uh, we'll get some science. Do some experiments. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to launch my rocket straight up and do some experiments as I go. I was going to go into the space center, glance at Kerbin, look and see what my options are for places to land, but I'm just going to go straight up in my Explore Kerbin, Mark III, and do temperature readings of the ground, and then I'm going to fly up out uh, as far as I can. I doubt I can really get very far, not significantly far at least, and then just descend back, collect the science points, you know, stuff like that. So first, I need to take temperature readings. Yay! I know everybody's so excited. I'll just log the temperature twice, and then when I'm out significantly, I can redo the other ones. Whatever. Stuff. Stuff and things. Okay. So, just solid fuel. Now, this time, what I'm going to do is ignite the solid fuel rockets, but... And also the... the liquid fuel, which solid fuel ones are the ones that you can't shut off once you've started. Uh, and then as soon as I do that, I'm going to just leave the liquid fuel rockets at zero uh, for throttle, 
and just wait until the aircraft or the spacecraft, sorry, is light enough to take off because the fuel has been drained out a little bit. Because I don't think it'll take off right away. But anyway, let's actually get out here. There's a bug right in front of my face. The heck? The nerve is some insects. Okay, let's go to space. Now we just slow. Very slowly. Not entirely sure I'm a huge fan of their flat smoke textures, but whatever helps the game to run faster, am I right? Right about at the S in solid fuel, I usually uh, start up my second set, uh, log the temperature, and... crap, I need to review this reading. Whoops. I did not mean to do that at all. Okay. That was extraordinarily klutzy of me, all right. Here we go, continuing straight up. Now let's wait until we get into the upper atmosphere a bit to do the last temperature reading. And then we'll go out into space and see what we haven't done. I'm really hoping that I haven't done a deep space goo examination yet. I don't think I would have since I haven't really built anything that has gotten there yet. But you never know with me. So yeah. Uh, aside from all the fun I'm absolutely, totally having right now. Uh, yeah. I don't really have anything else to, to talk about. <laughs> uh, it's so difficult to think of things to say all the time, but I feel like, barring putting in music, there's little else I can do at this point in these videos, so I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit so I can hear myself think. Goodness. Uh, oh, crap. I need to actually play the game, too. Space! The final frontier! Also, the best place for Nathaniel to screw up something. <sighs> so much of my focus is taken during the first parts of asparagus staging that I don't really get much else done other than focus, focus, focus. Um, one thing I should really consider doing is, I know a lot of people have built, like, walls of rockets and stuff, uh, just, like, just boosters that just shoot up into space. I want to do something similar, but with asparagus staging, and just see how far up I can get without, like, just completely wrecking all of existence. Now, that would probably require me to have a better computer than I currently have. Oh, crap, I forgot to do a temperature reading. Today is just one of those days of awesomeness this one, it's got to be this one. Alright, so got some more temperature data. You saw that, right? You guys saw it. You guys saw I detached the, the asparagus stage, right? Well, while I was doing something else. So I can actually pay a little bit of attention sometimes. I'm really proud of myself. Anyway... Oh, I'm not looking forward to coming back. It's going to take forever if I don't crash into Kerbin. I've done that a lot. Oh, wait, no, you guys have seen. You, of course, you, you guys know. I crash into Kerbin a lot. But that sure doesn't stop me from trying to not crash into Kerbin. No, sir. It does not. Well, I'm glad to know that everybody is having as much fun as I am.
No, but really, though. Like, I'll be honest. If you guys thought that, um, like, Kerbal was a crappy series, I would probably discontinue it if enough of you guys said it. However, it wouldn't keep me from playing it on my own, however. On the flip side, if you guys think that Kerbal is an amazing series, let me know. I mean, you know, I don't have much else to play right now while I'm on my wife's computer, but, I mean, I would gladly download, I mean, don't, i not entirely sure, I'm sure she's okay with it too, but I would gladly download whatever games you guys wanted to see me play, uh, granted I have the funds to do, to do so. Uh, I want to be able to record Xbox games at some point, because I really do love Xbox, however, I'm gonna... Get this off of here real quick. Boop. Okay. Anyway, I love Xbox games, but I just don't have a way to record right now, so hopefully when I can afford it, I'll, I will buy that, and then have a lot of fun just playing Xbox. I freaking love Xbox, so um, let's get out a little bit farther. This is not even close to as far as I wanted to go. This was all of my fuel, too. That was it. I mean, I could boost... A little bit with my lander but I'm going to save that so I don't die like a moron all right now I'm gonna do a temperature reading do all of my science I don't think I can do an EVA out <clears throat> excuse me out here wait do I I just used up my last thermometer I am so dumb sometimes not always but in this scenario extraordinarily crew report yay I haven't done a crew report yet out here that's nice to know actually mystery goo yay 15 science now let's get back to the uh, KSC and I think that'll raise it if I was at the Kerbal Space Center or whatever that is. wow 37 science this is extraordinarily successful this is extraordinarily successful. Uh, yeah. Extraordinarily successful. Let's try to get back here without dying like a moron. And play, and... There we go! Let's not die now. Okay? That's my one goal. Just don't die. I suck at that goal, but... I'm gonna try to get to the Space Center. I tried it before. I don't remember if I was fortunate at all in that endeavor. Or if I just sucked. This time I'm not going to have it on full throttle. I'm just going to have it on uh, partial. I'm going to have it on zero. And then uh, increase the throttle as I need it. Oh crap. Full throttle. No, Jebediah, what happened? Why did you die? No. Why would you do this to me? I was doing so good. I mean, yeah, I was a little... Oh, I'm still a Kerbal Killer. Oh. <laughs> and I found out it's Bob that I killed earlier. Well, you're next. No, Bill's next. We're gonna redo the whole mission over again. Oh my gosh. You guys, I was so happy to have Jebediah back, but now that I've killed him again, I don't feel that bad. Uh, not, not really. Alright, so, let's just go out to space. Let's just do all of our experiments. Let's just forget Jebediah ever existed. That would be mean. I will not do that. Jebediah lives forever in my memory, okay? That was weird. I hit myself so hard. Alright. Anyway, now that I've got time, because uh, my right-hand Kerbal, uh, Bill, my new right-hand Kerbal, after Jebediah, uh, had his untimely demise, at my hands! Do you see the green, weird blood on my hands? I'm assuming their blood is green. I don't know why. I actually have no idea why. Um... But, yep, 
Maybe that's what the green goo is. Ever thought of that? Everyone is like, ooh, it's alien stuff. That would be an incredibly crazy dark side of this game, and I would love it. I'm all into the conspiracy theories and stuff like that. Not like all into it like I know everything about it, but like they really, really interest me. So, but like imagine if that was like the deep dark secret of Kerbal Space Program was that um, they like every time Kerbals died they actually gathered up what was left and it was this green goo and then they performed science experiments on it but then every time it reacts to space it's actually the Kerbal's heart reaction to space like uh, seems at home here or uh, whatever or doesn't like water and things like that That's and if I start this as a conspiracy I'll be very proud of myself but seriously though like if no one's thought of that I am shocked however they have, then I'm not shocked at all, because obviously someone's got to think of this. I can't be the first person to think of that, I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, as much as this game can be tedious and really frustrating, you gotta really admire the mechanics and the physics and just, like, the immense scale of this game. I know it's just one little solar system, but that's a solar system! I mean, they've got games that are just infinite terrain, but... A place like a solar system that's not just randomly generated it's a place that you can go and explore and my graphic settings are turned on like low right now so it's not as serenely beautiful as it can be which is amazing because look at this place this is just a tiny part of this huge enormous planet like look at that like if I zoomed in as much as I could that's still not even as zoomed in as me obviously but, like, it's... This planet is not Earth-sized, as far as I've heard, but it's, like, uh, fairly close. So, imagine that. But just in a video game, like, you got the entire world. If you could take the time and had a computer powerful enough, you could recreate cities on this planet. Granted, they updated it to have some... Oh, crap, I'm falling to have some sort of robotics or something, you know, something to actually do something with. So far in this game, they have, like, no moving parts, really, uh, other than, like, the grabbing units, which I suppose you could use. I'm just thinking, like, building equipment, like, suppose you wanted to build a skyscraper, well, it would be really difficult without some sort of a crane, unless you built the skyscraper in the editor and just flew it and connected it and stuff. I mean, you could build a skyscraper in space and then land it, I suppose, if you were really, really good and had a fast computer, but at the same time, it's not quite as realistic, and you could really... All they'd really need to do is add some moving parts in here, and you could recreate entire eco ecosystems in here, not like working with each other sort of ecosystems, but at least ones that look like them. You know, you could create forests and buildings and stuff. I wish you could paint stuff, but then then all my rockets would look boring because I'd never get around to painting them. I take that back. I do not wish that you could paint stuff. If it happens, great, but that's not exactly my cup of tea. I can never decide what to color stuff, so I always skip it. Unless it's like a car, then I just paint it like black or red or blue. Really, that's it. That's like, um, in Forza Horizon, I have like 30 cars or something like that, and Almost all of them are black. <laughs> it's a great color on cars, I'm not going to lie. Of course, my car is a blue-green, which isn't a color that I admire specifically, but it's gro it grows on you when you get a cheap car, and, you, uh, and it's free. I mean, technically it wasn't, but pretty much free. <sighs> all right, before I get all the way out into space, I'm going to use two of these temperature gauges. Just because only two of them are really going to be effective at gathering science, I think it's like three per experiment, but it's prop the proportionally less science value every time you do an experiment. So I don't, I'm not really terrified at the thought, you know, of, well, I won't say you know. I, 
I might as well explain myself since you get you're just listening. Uh, since um, it's practically obsolete, the amount of science you actually get when you do a temperature reading, and the chances of me being out here in space again and doing a temperature reading is a lot higher than you'd probably think. Unless you're thinking it's really high, in which case, yes, you're absolutely right, and that's exactly what I'm going to do, because, yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, just about ready to do my science, and then uh, get back to Kerbin, and not kill Bill. He looks really happy. For now. We didn't tell him, by the way, that Jebediah died. He still thinks he's on re-entry. Um, he doesn't really get that speeding up time thing. So... All right, so let's uh, zoom out into space. Out to here. And then let's do all of our scientific experiments. All, like, five of them. Okay, I already did that one. It's so difficult, like, when you're thinking of other things, to remember which things you've clicked on. Okay. No, that was... What am I clicking on? Goodness gracious. Alright. I just need to be careful. I don't want anyone to die. I'm actually probably going to slow this craft down before it starts burning up. This time, crew report. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crew, crew report. Okay. Someday I'll do an EVA bill. I promise. And it probably won't be you that does it, just because I have a really bad habit of killing you. Well, not you specifically. You've survived most all of this. Okay. Now, this time we go down, I'm going to... Well, I'll leave it on full throttle, just in case. But that was ridiculously quick. It might have been because I wasn't facing retrograde, but... Alright, I'm going to fire it on that. I've just got to slow this thing down. I cannot have it burning up like it did last time. Come on, you can do this. You can survive. Alright. That's good, right? Ooh, please don't break me. Okay, good. Narrow miss. Safe? Come on. Come on, please. Tell me it's safe. Also increasing the altitude dramatically. Come on. I need to know it's safe. I really, 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 really... Okay, it's safe. Now, please don't rip off or something. That could be unfortunate for everybody. Alright. And now all my landing gear is still here. Okay, that was really, really scary. I had no idea that it would... Oh, okay. So I think that uh, if you enter the atmosphere from an angle, it actually gives you less... Uh... I think it slows you down without heating up it as much, maybe? Or something along those lines? I just feel like I went for quite a while without, um, burning up. Like, I fell a lot faster and farther before when I was testing it out. And so I don't really know what happened. I didn't even make an attempt to land at KSC because that was terrifying. I was falling so incredibly fast. Let's go a little bit faster, but not so fast that I'll die. Alright, and then I'll deploy all my parachutes in just a second. And now? Okay. Nope, 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 don't fall. Okay. Stay. Wait, oh, roll. Just a little bit. Come on. Let's actually put the landing gear in. I just want you to roll. That's all I want. But not a lot. Just enough. Nope. 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 
Oh, you're done. You're done rolling. You're done. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Okay. All right. I'm going to do an EVA. Do not freaking kill me. Okay. Now, since we're out here, I will do an EVA report and take a surface sample. What? Cancel. EVA report after I took a service, service sample. It's okay. Just click the wrong thing. Now, I'm just going to recover the vessel. And then I'm going to recover the vessel. <laughs> so, I got... Uh, Bill, who helped me out a lot, and then I'm going to go to the Space Center, look at it, and recover the vessel. Yes. Yay, 82 science. So, I have, what, 120? 120 science? Yes. Wow, okay. So, what did I need? I needed uh, this one, which is 90. So, advanced rocketry, I can actually purchase now. And now I have 75 science. So in my next video, I should be able to uh, get the big engines and actually go somewhere. Maybe go to the moon. Uh, I probably will die. But it will be awesome. I will go to the moon. I will go to Minmus, which is easier and way, way, way less gravity. But again, way harder to hit. And I'll actually show you guys that I am okay at some things. It's just building up science points that's the most difficult for me because I end up dying a lot. So, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been fun. I'm really glad that things are going the way that they are right now. Uh, and, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments or uh, just want to talk, feel free to send me a message on YouTube uh, or leave a comment. And if you like this video, then like this video. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Goodbye.